Let's bring in NBC's medical correspondent, Dr. John Torres. Dr. Torres, we talked about this a couple days ago. If we were to see an outbreak because of the close proximity of the demonstrators, when, that, when might that develop? And Savannah, you're right. This is a huge concern because the closer you are to people, the longer you're around those people, the more likely you are to get coronavirus. And we do know that people that don't have symptoms can spread it to others when they start going back to their communities. And so what we're expecting is around seven days to two weeks, we're going to start seeing a rise in cases. We're already seeing rises across the country from the reopenings. The concern is this is going to double because of the protests now. We're going to see more rises. And that's a big issue, obviously, Savannah. Well, I mean, you do have young people, mostly. Many of them are wearing masks. It's warmer. It's summertime. Could that help mitigate it at all? And uh, so to a certain extent, it could help mitigate. And it's like Sam said, the masks certainly help. Social distancing is the most important tool we have. But none of these in combination, masks, eye guards, social distancing, none of them give you 100 percent protection. And so you could still get it asymptomatically. You no, don't necessarily have to have symptoms to spread it. If you go back to your communities, especially if you live with somebody who's vulnerable, you have to be extra careful with them because you might be spreading to it. They might not even know it. And this could start that chain of transmission across the country that we want to make sure we get under control. And so they're going to take a close look at this and make sure that these things don't start turning into more outbreaks because, again, a big issue right now, Savannah. And real quickly, what about that study in Lancet? It looked at the effectiveness of social distancing and of masks. What did it find? And it found the most important thing was social distancing, that six feet was the important part or more of getting social distancing. It found that masks and eye goggles helped to a certain extent, but even all three of them, either by themselves or in combination, did not give you 100 percent protection. The best thing to do, obviously, is the avoidance if you can and just keeping a close eye on yourself and protecting those that we know are most vulnerable for this. All right, Dr. Torres, thank you as always.